Good afternoon, everybody. I want to, first of all, uh, welcome you to Brockton City Hall. Uh, before we begin today, uh, the city lost uh, a true public servant, uh, a gentleman that was a friend of all of us here, Mr. Tony Zioli, city clerk for uh, almost 30 years. Uh, his services are tomorrow and the following day. So if we could just take a moment of silence to remember a wonderful person, a wonderful public servant, just a great person, uh, and remember him in our thoughts and prayers along with his family. Thank you. May he rest in peace. I want to, uh, first of all, thank you all for being here today. I want to thank Senator Mike Brady. The Senator me never misses any of these. Um, we are today honoring um, those of uh, Dominican ancestry that are here in the city of Brockton uh, that live and work and make our community uh, just a fantastic, inclusive, welcoming city of champions. Uh, we have two dedicated uh, Dominican uh, folks working here, uh, Ana Pacheco in the clerk's office and uh, Francesca Rodriguez in the assessor's office. We want, to, uh, we want to thank them for what they do each and every day. I want to thank Brockton Community Access that always films these events. And I want to thank, again, all the city uh, employees and school employees that come here. Um, again, I'm just so excited to be here today to celebrate 100 and 180 years of Dominican independence. Uh, February 27th in the year 1844, uh, the Dominican Republic declared independence uh, from Haiti. Over the course of 500 years until 1844, the Dominican Republic was ruled by Spain, France, Spain once again, and then ultimately Haiti. Uh, it is no wonder Dominican people celebrate their independence for a whole month each and every year. Some of you uh, may already know, and some of you uh, may not, Dominican Republic is the second largest country in the, in the Caribbean. Uh, the nation is home to a large population of charismatic, prideful, family-oriented, and vibrant people, just wonderful people. And like many immigrants that have come to the city of Brockton or the United States of America, they do so uh, with the pursuit to search for better life for themselves and the next generation. In doing so, here in the city, they've brought wonderful cultures and traditions and music and, of course, delicious foods uh, to our city, to our county, to our commonwealth, and to our country. The majority of Dominicans here in the United States, uh, the immigrants that have immigrated here, settled in places like New York and also in Lawrence, Massachusetts. We are fortunate, truly, to have a wonderful, sizable Dominican population here in the city of Brockton. As mayor of this wonderful, diverse city, I, I want to let everybody of Dominican ancestry know that we are here to work with you and support you uh, because we are better together. Uh, I would like at this time to uh, ask uh, Senator Mike Brady if he would like to share a few thoughts. Senator. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for everyone coming out today. And we always have had a diverse community in the city of Brockton and the communities that I represent. And I'm just honored to be here, part of the celebration for the flag raising ceremony to honor our friends from the, from the Dominican Republic. And uh, we have to continue to support each other in this community. This is a great community of a wide range of, of a diverse people from every country across the, the planet. And uh, that's what makes us the city of champions of our inclusiveness and everybody working together. So I'm just grateful to be a part of this, and God bless you all. So at this time, I will read the official mayoral proclamation, whereas on February 27, uh, 1844, an act that demonstrated the resolute spirit that has characterized its culture through the ages, the Dominican Republic declared its independence from the Republic of Haiti. Whereas Brockton's greatest strength is in our diverse population, including residents and business owners from the Dominican Republic, who have again enriched our city by the introduction of so many wonderful customs, foods, culture and traditions, whereas it's an honor to recognize the accomplishments and contributions of our citizens here in Brockton of Dominican ancestry and to extend to them best wishes for continued success and prosperity. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as mayor of the city of Brockton, proudly proclaim today, February 27th in the year 2024, in our fine city as Dominican Independence Day. And I humbly ask all residents and business owners in the city to join me proudly in observing this day. At this time, I would like uh, Fran Francesca and Anna to help us proudly raise the flag.
Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here to proudly recognize Dominican Independence Day. I wish you all a great day. And as we always do in the city of Brockton, we will always continue to honor uh, and cherish those that have immigrated from countries from all around the world to make our community a better place to live and work. Thank you all. God bless you all.